Okay, this tutorial is going to cover the WYSIWYG editor. Uh, WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. And the, this editor, you're going to use it to actually build your web page. Uh, I'm going to cover a couple of buttons here. Probably the most important button you have is the toggle full screen mode. And if you click on that button, you'll notice that it takes you out to full screen. So you can see I already put some text about me. So I'm going to go ahead and use this text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the text that I want to modify and there's a couple options I can do here um, I can either bold it italicize underline strike through do any number of things that I would like to to the text so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it bold and um, let's get rid of the underline here uh, a couple other things that I can do if you notice here there's an indent button and I can use that to indent it in towards the page and then the outdent will bring it right back to the left side left hand side uh, another more advanced well not advanced feature yet um, over here is a select text color so I can change it to let's say I want to change it to orange or some type of orange okay and if I highlight that again let me get that highlighted I can change the highlight color let's say I want to highlight it in yellow so there's my my highlighted colored text. Uh, let's go ahead and change all of that back. Uh, the last thing, and this is the more advanced feature, is called the CSS style. And the CSS style is going to give you many different options that you can use uh, to modify your text. So you notice here, uh, you've got some options here. I'm going to change it to Times New Roman. Uh, I'm going to change the size. Let's change it out to 16 and let's make it 16 points uh, I can make it normal italic oblique uh, let's see the weight is kinda is, the weight is your bold and I can give it a numeric value or I can say bolder uh, we'll go with bolder variant notice I can make it a small caps the case I can make everything all uppercase line height um, this is going to be uh, how many basically how much space is between each line so in order to show you this I'm going to go ahead and give it 18 pixels of a, of a line height you can see I can color it um, I can make an underline overline strike through all the good stuff you can modify the background for that text uh, you can create all kinds of variants on the word spacing, letter spacing, vertical alignment, depending on what you're using it for. Uh, you can give it a box, you can give it a border, uh, you can create some space around it. So let's say for for this particular text I'm going to give it 10 pixels of space. Uh, let's say I want to give it a border and I'm going to make it a dashed border and I'm going to make it medium and I'm going to give it a color go ahead and give it a color here and let me choose my palette I'm gonna give it a red color uh, you can change the list and you can change the different types of uh, what what different types of bullets that you can use uh, let's go ahead and use a square uh, and then you can obviously do all kinds of things with positioning and we won't get into all of this obviously uh, because there's so many things to cover what I'm going to go ahead and do now that I've edited my style for the text is going to apply it. Now you can see that um, it's created it as all caps. It's given it a border. Um, and if I hit the enter, then the next time that some text shows up, it's going to show up 18 pics away from the actual uh, line of text so you can do all kinds of things with the CSS style uh, the next thing I'm going to do is show you some bullets right here you can do an ordered list or you can do a bullet list and you can create as many items as you need and it will update the items for you another thing that you can do is you can add tables and the tables is going to be this button right here and I'm going to go ahead and give it three columns and four rows and I'm not going to change anything else you can play with that at your leisure go ahead and insert that table 
Now you can see I've got some lines here to mess with. I'm going to get into here and let's say I'm going to give it heading 1 and then I'm going to give it heading 2 and heading 3. If you're used to modifying uh, Office Word or Word documents or Works documents, usually a tab will take you over in a table. In this case, it's just going to be the arrow key. You're just going to arrow uh, to the right into the next cell. So those are some basics on creating your uh, brand new web page. I'm going to go ahead and untoggle this full screen mode. And now, now that I've uh, changed everything I wanted to in my little web page, I'm going to click Save. And notice I'm modifying my first page. So save that. I'm going to give it a couple more seconds here. And while that's saving, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and click over into my website. And we'll go ahead and refresh my browser. And you can see I've got my first page here. We'll go ahead and click on my first page. And now you can see all the different um, formats that I've done. So that's using the WYSIWYG editor.